resistance now turn the support after the break before opening the position? No, I don't. I don't. So let's say the market breaks and I enter trade. I don't wait for the retest like this and like this. I don't wait for entry here. Simply when I see the breakout and if I can find if if there are entry confirmation then then I take it. Then I just take it. But it depends on when I come back to chart. So as you may know, I don't see charts all day. I don't see charts for hours. Simply in this kind of condition, I don't monitor anymore. I close chart and just leave. And come back a couple of hours later and see if, if the market breaks. So let's say come back to chart three hours later and for the, for the next three hours, for the next two hours, let's say the market keeps ranging and in in the third hour the market breaks and I wave. And then if I can find that entry confirmation at the breakout, then I take it. Or after three hours the market may move up and retest. Then if I get the confirmation here, then I take the trade. So it really depends on when I come back to the chart. Yeah, when I come back to the chart. But I don't really monitor until it breaks or until it retests. This is about time efficiency. I don't I I take less time in screen charts but take most profit from the market. In the regular jobs, we can't do it, but in trades, it's possible. So, uh, yeah, so that's the... Oh yeah, in, in the 5 minute, I can see divergence. Looks like the stochastics has been divergence. You can see the, the highs are lower on the stochastics, but the highs on the candles are higher. So this is a type of divergence and this dead cross means a lot in this case. The, the, this dead cross means the market may reverse. So most likely it doesn't break the resistance, but we will see. Nothing is 100%. So we just monitor and when time is right, then 